Since my childhood, I always loved to burn stuff, and I must have went through at least 500 kilograms of flammable material. Up until yesterday, I never wondered why gas, which was one of those materials, had that absolutely disgusting smell. So today, we're going to find out together why gas smells like this, and I am going to try to replicate the smell of gas. Wikipedia says that a chemical called methane thiol can be used for that, and it can be smelled at levels as low as one part per billion. If you ask me, one part per billion is crazy. It's like a milliliter in 1000 cubic meters of water. Refined natural gas is practically odorless, and to prevent accidents like this from happening, companies add an odorant like methane thiol. Now I only need to find out what the best way to make this stuff is. It would be possible to generate hydrogen sulfide and to react it with methanol at a high temperature, but the risk of a leak and the neighbors calling the fire department is way too high. To solve this problem, I came up with a simple two-step process. The first step can be done here without the risk of having to guess my neighbors, at least I hope that there's no risk, and the second step can be executed virtually anywhere in the world. Let's go! For this project, I'm going to use methyl iodide, thiourea, distilled water, and sodium hydroxide. Thiourea is this white powder. It's not that dangerous, but it's still carcinogenic, so I was careful with it. I added the thiourea to this flask, followed by distilled water as a solvent. The amount doesn't really matter here, and I eyeballed it. In the next step, I need to add methyl iodide very slowly and therefore connect it in a dish funnel. Methyl iodide is basically liquid cancer and I made sure not to inhale any. During the addition, the thiourea, which did dissolve at first, ended up dissolving. It likely all reacted, but I let it stir overnight before stopping. In the first step of the reaction, the methyl iodide reacts with thiourea to form an isothyronium salt. To get rid of the water without heating too much, I connected the vacuum, turned on the stirrer and heated at 70 degrees celsius until dry. So I finished the first step and this stuff is already reeking. It's horrible, it's absolutely disgusting, like it's ah. <laughs> and it's not even that bad yet, it's gonna get a million times worse in a few seconds. Okay my friends, guess what time it is? It is time to commit some unspeakable war crimes. <laughs> All that we're gonna need is on this table and I even brought some tubes to bring samples home with me. This has to be the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Sodium hydroxide. Did I kill my sense of smell? Not smelling anything yet. As it turns out, I may need to heat the reaction using one of these. But I forgot to bring one, so I'll have to try again tomorrow. I'm back the next day, at this forest, at midnight, and there are no people around. This is great, because this means that I do not need to get rid of any witnesses, and this makes it easier to make stinky chemicals in a very suspicious way. Oh, you yeah. need water. That's the reason I always wear safety goggles while dealing with caustic things. This could have easily blinded me if it got into my eye. Oh. I'm beginning to smell something. Oh, this is horrible. It has a very pungent sulfur like smell. But I honestly expected it to be more than that. Kinda of disappointing. Okay, I found out why I didn't really smell it. I worked with so many smelly chemicals in the past month that I could have gotten insensitized to it. At least this sounds like a viable explanation to me. And because of that and because I want to know how bad this compound really is, I will have to force someone else to smell these samples. 
and this person will have to suffer because to me it's not that bad but I want to know how bad it can be if you're not insensitized to it. <laughs> okay, because I didn't smell it, I have my first unsuspecting victim here. And enjoy. Great, let's see what we got. Really weird. It smells kind of like rotten eggs, but with a bit more, I don't know, earthy aroma, if you might call it that. Not, not really sure. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate it? From, from one, absolutely nothing to 10, a horrible vomit on the floor. Mm, like maybe six. Unfortunately, I could not make my dad smell it because I made him smell other stuff before, which was not so nice. But as it turns out, when this gas is more diluted, it smells even worse. So when I opened the exact same tube I used before, it's worse this way than when you actually smell it directly. It could be that it numbs your sense of smell in the same way that hydrogen sulfide does. But when more dilute, it's worse. It sounds weird, but it's the truth. You may want to experience the smell for yourself, and therefore I filled up these two tubes with dilute gas. If you want to win one of these, follow the terms and conditions here, subscribe and leave a comment, and maybe you will be the proud owner of some stinky gas. In the next video, I will tell you who won, so stay tuned. Lastly, I would like to thank all of my Patreons, because without you guys, all of this would not be possible, and Syriac Barra, because he gifted me a ton of chemicals that will be used in future videos.